This is Benjamin here, and I'm just going to go over uh, a couple key mistakes and uh, common pitfalls that people have while installing Talend, and um, some things to try if the installation doesn't work. We're also going to cover how to make sure you've got the SQL Server connected to Talend. Okay, so uh, the part one of this will be the installation. So you have to have Java runtime environment on your machine. You can check your Java version by going to your Windows program files on your C drive, and then inside the Java folder. Make sure you only have one JDK. A lot of times people have multiple versions of their JDK, and they're not able to specify which one Talon needs to use. Then we need to go to our environment variables. When you type in the start menu environment variables, make sure you're clicking system environment variables, not environment variables for your account. Okay, we need to add them to the system. I'm going to click for my account because if I click system, it asks me for uh, admin password, uh, which I don't have on this account. So uh, I'm going to do it for my account. It should work either way, but add it to your system if possible, if you're an admin on your laptop. So the next thing we need to do is add a Java home environment variable. This is just a variable with the value of the path for our JDK. The path for our JDK is right here and it's going to reference the bin folder. You can see here, we've got C slash program files, Java JDK 18.0.1, which is this path. And when we add it to our actual path variable, if I edit this, we're going to type in and add a percent sign Java underscore home or whatever the name of the variable you created right here is, uh, percent sign backslash bin. OK, and all of the instructions for that are here in the PowerPoint. So you're going to do backslash bin. Make sure you're doing the right type of slash. And once you add that, that's the same thing as saying this path variable to the bin. All right. Now, if you have multiple uh, JDKs, Talon's not going to know which one to use. So when you run Talon Open Studio and we install it from this link, you go through the installation process and run it. Sometimes you'll get an error that says you need a uh, version 11 or greater. If that is the case, there's a great YouTube video that you can search that error and uh, the video will come up. But basically, if you type in uh, Talent Open Studio, you go to your file location and right click again and go to your file location. If we scroll down, there is the configuration settings file for Talent and a few things you need to try Okay, to add is uh, the very top line here, add another argument for VM, all right? The next thing we need to do is specify that this version can be 1.8 here instead of 11. And then the last thing you need to add is the link to your Java, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my program files, uh, Windows, program files, Java, JDK, bin, and then we wanna reference javaw.exe. So I'm going to take this link, I'm going to paste it, and then I'm going to do one more backslash javaw.exe. And you're going to save this configuration file just like this with these three changes, this line, adding this line, and then this line. Okay, and you can verify that you're typing it right. Um, there's a bunch of tutorials online that go through this fix. I'm not going to save it because I didn't need to make that change on my machine because I only have one version of Java in my Java folder. If you have multiple JDKs or J, uh, JREs, it's going to have an issue with detecting which one to use. OK, so once you go through that, um, you should get a screen that looks like this when you run Talent. And then you should be able to create a new project and then follow along the steps from today's video. It might ask you to install uh, packages. Um, that's this screen here. Just accept all and download and install all the modules that are available. Once you get to this screen, create a new package, uh, create a new project, and then practice the jobs from slides 24 all the way up to slides 70. 
And then I'm going to make a part two video, which is specifically working with uh, Microsoft SQL databases in Talend. OK, so this was just to cover the installation of Talend and some common pitfalls. Um, you should get a home screen that looks like this once you finally have it running. OK, so if you do get that error with version 11, try those things, try fixing that. And if it doesn't work, restart your machine. Uh, once you've installed a fresh version of Java or once you've deleted the multiple versions of Java, always restarting your machine to have a clean cache and clean RAM is a good idea. You can also try Zulu, which is mentioned in the PowerPoint okay, um, earlier uh, around slide 20. And Zulu is just another version of Java that you can install instead um, if the Java runtime is not working for you and the link is right here. OK, so just depending on your machine, how old it is and the architecture of it, trying some of those things might help. All right, I'm going to end this meeting here. Part two uh, will be next.